Workers have needed extra care during the pandemic. One group stepped up. Now they need you to step up too. I spoke with Andrea Smith from Senior Action. Andrea, I know these have been trying and challenging times to continue to serve. So talk about what you guys have been doing during the pandemic and how the community can start to help you out even more. Oh, yeah. So, boy, what an understatement, Amy. Uh, these have definitely been interesting times. They, they change daily. We do the best we can to make decisions. And then you just never know if they're right. I just hope and pray that they are. But uh, when we uh, had to close down in March, we immediately uh, recognized that we had folks that we didn't want to be getting out of their homes. We wanted to stay at home as much as possible. So we stepped in and started offering food uh, through a drive through program uh, that we do uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And we also deliver meals to people's homes who can't get out. Um, and so we started doing that in March. And we've been doing it really ever since. Um, our numbers have grown dramatically in that time period. Um, and it's been a real interesting uh, opportunity to serve people in a different way, but also we are seeing needs in a whole different way than we uh, saw before, really. Um, so that's what we've been doing. Uh, it's hard work physically, um, but at the same time, we know that what we're doing is helping a lot of people. So uh, I'm sure that creates new needs, right? When you talk about having more people, bigger numbers, um, serving more people, you have the need for more community jumping in and helping. Yeah, absolutely. So when we started this, we probably averaged about normally when we're uh, operating normally about five to six thousand meals a month is what we normally serve. Uh, right in March, we jumped in and jumped up to about seven thousand meals. And the last two months, we have served uh, nineteen thousand meals in May and nineteen thousand meals in June. So we have exponentially increased the number of meals we're serving and also the number of people. We've probably added a good uh, probably 1,200 new uh, people to our roles that we already had. So we uh, definitely served a lot more people through this program. Um, we are concerned at the moment that the emergency funding that we have been receiving that is paying for all this is going to quickly run out at the level that we're serving. So I mean, that's kind of our worry at the moment. Um, that's where we uh, would love some support from the community. It's just helping us pay for all this that we're having to do um, we are we made the decision very early that we were not going to use volunteers because we wanted to limit yeah. the exposure to our members uh, but now you know our very skeleton staff is really uh, tired and needs a little bit of relief and so we are kind of loosening up our um, thinking around that and, and inviting some people if they're willing to come help us pack up meals to serve uh, we have all the protective equipment that you possibly need. You need to make sure we're doing that in a safe way. Um, but we are looking for help uh, in that way as, uh, as well. So if people are under 60 years old, we'd love to hear from you if you'd be interested in helping us uh, serve food. Uh, but we mostly need some financial support, honestly, to help us continue to serve because we don't know how long this is going to keep going. We yeah. really don't see the end in sight. Yeah, and with the numbers the way they are at the moment, you know, it, it makes people concerned that things will go longer than you, you'd wish, right? Uh, we all wish right. it would be over tomorrow. But let's talk about how we help financially. I mean, so where do we go? What do we do? If we want to give to the organization and keep these meals and these connections going for our seniors. Sure. The easiest way is to go to Senior Action's website, which is just senioraction.org. Uh, ORG, um, you can make a donation right there on our webpage. You can say in that uh, form that, you, that pops up that you want to give it four meals if you'd like to designate it for that purpose. Uh, you can always mail us a check. Um, you can um, you give us a call and we'll take a credit card. You know, any way if somebody wants to do it. Um, we uh, again are just needing those kinds of support as, as much as we can do it. So we'll, we'll help any way. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Well, we will get the word out and we hope that uh, you start to see some folks uh, jumping in. Maybe just like you've connected with new seniors um, who you're helping, maybe you'll connect with new community members who want to support you. We hope that works out. Sure. We would love to, to do that. I mean, this is, you know, that's the positive side of all of this, is that uh, we are getting to see our, our members in a different way. Um, it is sad that we're seeing some of them uh, decline a little bit in health, which we feel like there's a toll this is taking on them in other ways. Sure. Uh, but we do hope to connect with other members of our community and get them more involved in our work. Again, you can go to SeniorAction.org and make that donation. You can find that link on WSPA.com right now under links we mentioned. And coming up, Dr. Cedric McFadden is back. I'm speaking with him about a possible change in testing for COVID-19.